This is the first installment of many videos to come chronicling the adventures aboard SVC Shifter, a project slash dream slash lifetime goal slash probably a really bad idea starring Captain Ken, Forrest Gump Russell. That's my bow. And also featuring Admiral Amy, the Cookie Monster White. about eight miles away from the entrance to the harbor. The harbor that we just left yep. and are not returning to. Yep. So after a week and seven thousand dollars in the boatyard we got all of our projects completed. Bottom paint, sail drives, new props. Got it back in the water and headed down to Cooper River Marina to dock there for about a week. Cooper River Marina we were waiting on our mainsail to come in. Another sixty five hundred dollar job. But we did get out and got to see some of the cargo ships coming into the bay and uh, dinghy around them. Ran into a few out at sea too on the way down to Savannah. Not literally, luckily. Yeah, Look at them, they're raping each other right now. <laughs> playing. We did, however, run into these guys. It was nice having a pot of dolphins chasing us down the coast as we went from Charleston to Savannah. We left Charleston and sailed all night to Savannah. Had to motor sail most of the way. We did get some pure sailing in, but we were going the wrong direction to our destination. So it was a lovely night of motor sailing and arrived in Savannah, Georgia at about 10 in the morning. So I asked Amy what was for dinner, right. and about two seconds later, the reel started oh, spinning right lying out. <laughs> Got to catch a, about a 10 pound little tuna, and we cleaned it up and had it for supper over a salad on the way down the coast. So, will you tell me what you want for the last time? so we sailed the whole night from Charleston, we're right outside of the Wausau Sound. Heading up the Wilmington River to Savannah. And about two miles away from the entry. Awesome night. Cold as shit, but really fun. Did about four to five knots motor sailing the whole way. Well, after our off course just to sail sail. Beautiful sunrise, beautiful sunset last night. Amy didn't snore. Bonus. <laughs> Maybe I just am better at sleeping outdoors than indoors. We still have uh, five or four, or five, six miles to go up the river to an anchorage or a marina. We're not sure yet. Um, I have some parts I have to get, so we're looking to maybe go into a marina that has a parts store. And that is it. Our sail is all nice and put away. And we're going to go figure out how to get into the Wilmington River through the Wausau Sound. Um, no more dolphins after yesterday afternoon, and I quit fishing after we caught that either snap or a snap. It was a blue wahoo snapper fin. Either a skipjack or a blue uh, bluefin tuna, one of the two. I got to look it up. Or a Spanish mackerel. Or Spanish. No, it wasn't a Spanish mackerel. It could have been a small dolphin. Wait Shrimp and boats are out. So after two great overnight sails down the coast offshore from Charleston to Jacksonville, we started down the intercoastal waterway. That was quite the experience with its numerous bridges. Some of them are drawbridges, bascules, I believe they're called, double or single, and others are fixed and are supposed to be 65 foot of clearance. Our mast is 6111 plus a Windex and a VHF antenna making it close to 63. None of these bridges are 65. We scraped our antenna on almost all of them, so it made for a very stressful crossing down the ICW. 
The drawbridges are really cool when they open on demand. You call them on VHF channel 9, ask for an opening, and they pop it open for you. As we got further south, we found that they only open on a certain schedule, either on the half hour and the hour, or on a quarter hour and three quarter hour. That made it interesting, as you were trying to time the bridges as you were coming through. St. Augustine was a beautiful stop. We ended up there for almost a week, but we were waiting on parts to come in, spare parts for the boat, and getting our water maker figured out. It worked wonderfully, and we had a great time in St. Augustine. We did a distillery tour, which was a wonderful drunk fest, and a very interesting historical walking ghost haunted tour of the city. going through the broken bridge. Yeah, you have plenty of room. You're 20 feet. That's what he's worried about. That's what he's worried about. The broken bridge. Mast is clearing the bridge. You're good. So as we left St. Augustine and started heading down the intercoastal waterway further, we found that uh, weather was beautiful on some days and a little crazy on others. Uh, the first day out, the water was like glass. Very interesting ride through a bunch of mangrove areas, jungles, forests, and homes lining the intercoastal waterway as well as some businesses and Thank industrial you. areas. The channel down the ICW is rather narrow. There's about 11, 8 to 11, 15 feet of water maybe in the main channel. And then right outside of the main channel, it drops down to anywhere from five to three or four feet of water. So you really have to stay focused as you're cruising down the uh, channel and make sure you stay between the markers. We had a couple days where the weather was just interesting. We had heavy winds, 20 to 25 knots of wind, pushing us down the ICW. So after a few days of not so ideal weather, we finally got a break and sailed in beautiful sunshine, favorable waves, we got great scenery, as everybody knows, the further south you get in Florida, the fancier everybody lives. So we got some great scenery, some beautiful homes, some amazing boats and some beautiful weather, so we couldn't argue with that. It was just a nice, leisurely trip from Fort Pierce to West Palm Beach. with neck cards. I think that translates to there's bad drivers everywhere. Before you start feeling too sorry for us, it wasn't all hard work all the time. Ken did find some opportunities to jump in the water and have some fun. It's funner coming in than going out.
going swimming. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video and following all of our rantings and ramblings on our Facebook lives. We really, in wait, Ken really enjoys making those. <laughs> Thanks for watching the uh, Instagram, following that, and uh, the YouTube channel. This, is, this video is going to go out on the YouTube channel, so please subscribe to that page so you can get all the updates. We're going to have the next Ken Ventures Productions Sea Shifter video from... The Bahamas! Woohoo! We are going to take off Saturday night at around midnight, Sunday morning, and uh, sail across the West End in the Bahamas. So hopefully and in what's a couple today? weeks... Today is The Friday. end of... Today is Friday, so... I didn't know that. Tomorrow night, we're going to take off. Um, at midnight so hopefully we'll have some cool videos from the Bahamas coming up here really soon and we'll put some more out um, also if you go down to the bottom of our page here you can follow our link to send us money I don't know how to do that I don't know do how to it? make I don't know how to make a link we so they can send link? us money yeah. all right so just send us money or you can just come and bring or us just money come and bring us money um, if you or could just even if you don't have money, just bring more beer. You could direct deposit <laughs> <laughs> some money into our account. That would be great. You could just bring more beer and we're good with that. So come visit us. You know how to get a hold of us, all the different uh, social medias. And I still have my email, my phone number, and all that stuff for you. So come visit us and hang out, have a beer, sit on the water. Uh, we're having some boat drinks, too. We've got some uh, rum and pineapple and coconut going it's on delicious. there. It's so. delicious. Come on out and visit us, and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. We'll see Thanks. you guys soon. Bye. All right, so just hit video, record. Right. Okay, you're recording right now? All right, so are we recording right now? Then you should be able to hear me just fine with this. Stop. Play back. Come outside here and do it in the wind. I want to hear it in the wind. Let's just see if it works. This is an earpiece. It might not work.